Dad? Mom? It's 2018. I'm from the future. No! Hey everyone, so I'm Julia, also known as Skylary, and I'm the creator of an online friendship sad story, the movie. The movie was released a few weeks ago and it's doing pretty well. It has 60,000 views so far and I'm just so glad that you guys liked it. So now I'm bringing you guys an online friendship sad story, the movie documentary. It'll give you guys the opportunity to see behind the scenes, bloopers, a few of the main characters will be interviewed, the process of recording and editing as well. You're going to get the whole package so just sit back, relax and enjoy. So I used Discord and Bandicam to record the scenes. I, what I did was I made a few voice channels. One was named The Waiting Room and the other one was named Currently Recording. I'd round up all of the voice actors in the waiting room and then tell them which few people will be going into the Currently Recording channel to record. The process works surprisingly well. I would paste the scene script into the script text channel and I would give them 5-10 to 10 minutes to prepare for the scene and practice. Once they were done practicing, we'd begin recording. I was so happy with how the process worked. Everyone was so cooperative and once they got the hang of it, it was easy to do. Sometimes people would mess up their lines and we'd all joke and laugh around. And then as soon as that was over, we'd get right back into character mode and that's what I loved about it. I loved how we could have our laughs but within a click of a button, they'd all be in focus again. Everyone gave their 100% effort and I'm, I'm just so happy with how everything turned out. But I need to see her! What?! Hey guys, I'm Morgana Ball and I play as Brielle in an online friendship sad story. Um, so I'll be answering some questions. I originally auditioned for the role Carmen, I believe. I guess I would choose Carmen because that was the role I originally wanted to cast for. She just seemed kind of evil and I like evil things. I don't know. I, I know I didn't feel nervous for one fact. I guess I just felt energized and really happy that I was doing something that I find enjoyment in. And I guess I was just really happy. What I took away from the experience was my experience made me feel more confident. Voice acting and acting itself. The more you practice something, the better you get at it. And I guess that just hired my self-esteem with it. And like, I gained friendships and I met people who are very unique and I've never known before. Are you okay? So, as you can see, the whole futuristic part of the movie was in a completely different studio place to the other present part of the movie. The futuristic world had a red sky, it had tall buildings, and it had a vibe of a huge city and a place that Brielle wasn't used to. I wanted to make it feel like it wasn't home and it was a horrible alternate reality. And if Brielle was to feel that it wasn't her home, then the audience would catch on to that feeling and think, well, wow, Brielle has to like get out of there before time runs out. Whereas the home present part of the movie had a more calm vibe to it. The sky is blue, the good old house is there. It's more of a home and it's where Brielle feels like she belongs and it's where everything calms down. And that's where a lot of panic comes to Brielle because she realizes that she could actually be stuck in the alternate reality and she could she could fade out and just completely go out of existence. And like a big part of producing a, a good movie, in my opinion, is to create an atmosphere that gives off emotions that you want the audience to feel. So if you want the, the scene to be sad, you you give off like sad music and the voice acting has to be sad and like it, it's ju it just all works out that way. Hey, you already know who it is, your girl Rose, and I voice act for the character Carmen in the AOFSS movie. I originally auditioned for Stephanie because I thought my voice was like high-pitched or matched a child, I guess, but it really doesn't now.
I don't really know. All the characters have really interesting characteristics and backstories, so I wouldn't really care if I'd been casted for another character. I felt super nervous. I hadn't done any voice acting before, so I was really scared that I messed up a lot of the scenes. Something I gained from this experience was my best friends ever and my boyfriend. They're all really amazing people and I love hanging out with them. I honestly don't know where I'd be without them, and if I hadn't been casted as a character in the movie, I wouldn't have met my boyfriend, Sam. I love him more than I love pizza rolls. Yeah, a lot of things changed. After the premieres, lots of fans wanted to take screenshots with me and wanted to be my friend on Roblox. It was pretty overwhelming. I also got fan art too and a lot of people started chipping Graham, which was pretty, um, fun, I guess. Um, a lot of people in the AOFSS cast are really nice and I'm glad that I met them. I'm Carmen. I think we're gonna be very good friends, Luke. Why, hello there. My, <laughs> my name is Sam and I play as Luke and, uh... Skyler Reed's AOFSS movie. I hope you all enjoyed it, by the way. It was a lot of a lot of good work we did there, but I'm just gonna be answering a few things here. Now, uh, you know what's funny? If, if I had to be casted as someone else, it would probably, I, no, no joke, I would it would have probably been <laughs> Young Adams, but I, 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 would, I don't know how I'd be able to do that. I'm not, I'm nowhere near good enough to be able to do that. I, I have to have like a really low-pitched voice, in which I cannot do. Thankfully, uh, Gavin, one of the other voice actors, can do that. It felt kind of weird when we uh, recorded the first scene, but I started to grow easily, um, able to talk more. Now, as for the experience I gained, it was incredibly amazing. I met some of the greatest people I would have ever met in my life. They're my best friends, especially Rose. I, I Burning Rose, just gonna plug her uh, Roblox name there. She's my lovely girlfriend and I'd be nothing without her. So I have to thank uh, Skylary for setting all that up because I, I would be nothing without Rose. Yeah, yes, we're dating. You can continue the ships. So the editing part of the movie was actually really easy compared to when I had to put text into the scene. I feel like voices really expressed what was happening in the movie a whole lot better. It definitely took a lot longer because I had to dedicate a few weeks to recording scenes and I, could, I couldn't start editing until all the recording was done because we recorded the scenes out of order and then I placed them in folders on my laptop in order. It took me four months to finish editing the movie and when I did, that's when I decided to have the premiere of the movie. The premiere was a huge success. We had a red carpet, a Q&A panel, and then a countdown to when the movie was being uploaded. It was really fun. Hello, my name is Matthew and I play Matthew in an online friendship sad story, The Movie. If I could have been casted as any other character, it probably would have been the security guard, because it's a little short but sweet role. It's a very intimidating figure. I don't know, I guess I just like playing intimidating people. Probably to compensate for something? Maybe not? I don't know. Going into the first scene that I was going to record, was it was pretty laid back and relaxed. I'd already gotten to know the actors and actresses through Discord, we'd been talking and voice chatting, we played some Roblox together, and so I already knew them pretty well. Going into the scene, I was really looking forward to seeing not only how the other person in the scene would be acting, but how they would be reacting to my character and how the whole interaction as a whole would work together. Um, I was super interested in the, the evil nature of my character. Uh, I think everyone likes a villain to some extent. And so I was really looking forward to it. We had a few minutes to kind of look over all of the dialogue for that specific scene, just so we could understand the character, the context, and also where we were coming at. So after those few minutes, we'd record the scene, and we'd do maybe one or two takes just to make sure we got it right. And then we'd call it a wrap, and I'd go back into the waiting room and chat with the people about it. 
I took a lot from that situation with me, a lot of experience and a lot of friendship. I got to be part of this large franchise with a massive following, and I also got to make friends along the way with the voice actors and actresses and some of the fans that I got to interact with as well. Well, it was kind of a, a pressures on kind of moment, you know, you've got a lot of weight to carry here. But um, the, the experience itself was relaxed and it was nice kind of playing the only main villain in the movie because, you know, it's, um, you have full control over, you know, how you carry it. And so that's nice. <laughs> Just die already. Hi guys, I'm Sasha from Skylary's An Online Friendship Sad Story, and I played the role of Taylor, and I'm going to be answering some questions. I originally aimed for the role of Taylor, and I was lucky enough to get it. I could be any other character, I would most likely be Carmen, because she portrays that character that has the evil trait but at the same time, she does have a heart, and I think that's one thing me and her do have in common. At first, I was kind of nervous because I didn't want to mess up, but later on, I got more comfortable with the cast, and my mistakes later became funny accidents. I gained a closer friendship with my former best friend Julia, along with new friendships between the cast. At the ending scene with Luke or Sam, I felt really connected to the scene, like if you know what I mean, like it was so dramatic and relatable that it almost felt real. So I think that's what made it pretty easy to film. You lied! You hurt me! The bloopers part of the movie were also pretty hilarious because I think the fact that a few people messed up their lines and brought us closer together because whenever someone messed up we'd all laugh so the whole thing was beginning to feel more like a friendship rather than a business thing. Can I please go to the 19th floor? Ah, God, I missed my play! <laughs> oh my God! Hi, can I please go to the 19th floor? You want to see Taylor? No. Wait. God. I'm happy that you both are here with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that both of you are here with me. <laughs> I can't do it. Taylor, you haven't changed one bit. Oh, uh... See? <laughs> what? Whose phone is that? That's not mine! Anyway, we gotta fix this vest that Carmen made. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> I couldn't- Call 911! You need to meet my kids. I have two. Adam and Stephanie, they're angels. I hope. Sorry, sorry, I, I was looking at Taylor's line. What about my family? Forget about them. You can start new. I'm sticking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Brielle, I'm so sorry for what I did to your family. The fact that you saved my life even after, after I murdered your parents is. I can't even express how great- oh, Come on! Why is this oh impossible? God. It the doesn't matter! Were... I just want pizza. Come on, Brielle. You don't really want to save her life, do you? Look at all the terrible things she did to your family. Yeah, I need to pronounce that better, okay? <laughs> Taylor, you haven't changed one bit. Oh my bit. god, oh my god, hang on, let me turn off my notifications. Grandchildren? Luke, we're grandparents. Oh my god, I can't wait to see them. Taylor. You haven't changed. <laughs> okay, the dogs. The, <laughs> the dogs. dogs. <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> Sometimes I think about how different things would be if I didn't decide to do voice acting for the movie. I mean, it would impact a lot of people's life. No one would have tried out for voice acting. I wouldn't have spent hours recording scenes with the voice acting crew. 
I wouldn't have had the premiere for the movie. Everyone would be doing different things. Um, I, I wouldn't have met the voice actors who are now really good friends of mine. And the fact that Sam, who plays Luke, and Rose, who plays Carmen, are actually dating now makes me feel like, wow, imagine how different everyone's life would be if we didn't make that one decision. Overall, I had so much fun making the movie. It was one of the highlights of 2018, and I'm pretty sure there will be more voice acting auditions for a movie in the future.